Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we helped make this war a little difficult for both Nila and the Contessa here in Prague. We went into the crypts and got ourselves some bad mojo. We possibly violated the Geneva Convention by kidnapping the head of security over in the Contessa's castle and tortured him so that we could get some security codes for the place. And, you know, we also dug up an army of the undead to haunt Neela's bank HQ. That way she would up the ante in firepower, and up the ante she did, as you can see in the background. Tonight, we're going to head back out into the city with Murray, because I love this big guy. And he definitely needs to start uh, missions more. So, we're going to just make our way over here. As you can see, Murray's mission is right there. Bentley's is way in the back once again. And Sly's mission is actually right over here. So, for now, we're just going to do Murray just because he's the easiest and the most convenient. And also the one that actually is possibly the shortest mission out of all of the ones here. Just going to sneak my way over here and not get spotted by the spotlights. As I say, as soon as I get spotted by the spotlights, not get spotted by any guards. Murray, use both analog sticks to drive the tank. Press both up to move forward, both down to go in reverse, and in opposite directions to rotate. To fire your turret, tap the R1 button. You'll need to take out six tanks to get the job done. That's a good thing those guards had short-term memory loss and forgot oh, that I was there. Oh. Here we go. The seat's gotta go back farther than this. Okay, guys, I'm in a tank. And thus, Bentley's mission for me to cause so much death and destruction continues once more. I actually want to see what happens if the tank sees the wolf guards. It does nothing, alright. In that case, I'll just take care of the tank over here. Out of the way, guys! So yeah, it takes about three shots from the tank's turret to take out the tank, so it's not that bad. You just need to be careful when they hit you because you are a slow, lumbering, and pretty big target. So we're just gonna head across the bridge over here. This is the only time you ever see one of Neela's tanks that is not on, like, her main area. It's just that one tank that patrols over there. Alright, we're just gonna wait right here for an ambush. I think one should be coming right around the corner right now. Yep, there it is. I have to ask... I'm looking at this uh, tank that Neil's mercenaries use in like three different ways. I'm trying to figure out like the layout of this thing. Like, it's got uh, like a little set of windows around it, and I'm guessing that's probably just a viewport for the the tank pilots. But at the same time, there's like this little spot up front, and I'm wondering if that's supposed to be like an autonomous like robot driving the tank, and the, the driver is just in the back, or is it like? That's where the, the driver sits, which is really, really uncomfortable looking because there's literally no leg room underneath it. Like, I could see the, uh, that spot right there having the, the crew sit there, but at the same time, you can't really see anything with that little knob in the front. Behold the power of the Murray. Ooh, almost got him. And even then, it seems like it's a pain in the ass to see where you need to shoot the tank. for a while ah so much death and destruction all according to Bentley's plan all right well now we're done with Murray and we could just head right back to the safe house but instead I want to actually take care of that guy and make a run for it I actually want to head up into the upper part of the castle and the reason behind that is I want to grab myself a treasure with Murray while we're out here and there's one in specifics that I want to grab, but unfortunately, I'm having a bad time trying to figure out where, where uh way to get up to the top of the castle is. Alright, so we made it to where I wanted to go. I wanted to get the golden crown right there. Wow, you were buzzing the tower pretty close there, buddy. And I'm going to grab this. As you can see, it is a booby-trapped uh, valuable, so we're going to want to be fast on our feet for this. And... 
just, wow, you don't get a whole lot of time for it. Thankfully, with the Raging Infernal Flop, any guard that is right in front of me is pretty much cake at this point. Alright, I actually do want to go this way, not get hit by the spotlight machine guns, and also do my best to avoid any of the tanks here, because we are right outside our objective, and I do not want to lose this at the very last second. Alright, cool. We got it. Alright. Next person I want to send out is Sly. And we're going to head over to where his mission is, which is just right down the way over here. Just going to drop on down here, make your way up here, hopefully not get caught by the flashlight guard. Ooh, do you have a shining in your pocket? No, you don't. Okay. Then you get to live for now, just because I need to get to my mission. Hey, you. The Contessa plans on taking control of Neela's army by fooling them with a prototype voice modulation device. To get the thing working, she'll have to jack it into the satellite connection beneath Neela's headquarters. So, I'm guessing you'd like me to steal the device and... Hook it up for our side, giving us control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. You'll have to steal a few keys here or there to get access to the more secure areas of the castle. If there's pockets to be picked, I'm your man. First, steal a wiretap and the voice modulator. Then head for the sewers beneath Neela's headquarters. I'm on it. All right. Seems easy enough, huh? Well, you'd be right, because... The flashlight guards here have a pretty set pattern on their patrols, and it's just like a little uh, pickpocketing puzzle. So while this guy goes around his friend right here for whatever reason, his friend right here just decides to do circles right on this little grass spot. I think it's the only time you ever see like a guard move like this, where it's just like plop, 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 and just hopping in one place. Alright, our location is right over there, so we're just going to ride the wire down on over to the motor pool. Hopefully not get shot by tanks or blown up by bombers. And head into this first crypt. It's all the way up there by the crown. As we make our way over there, I wanted to take note of the bombers. As you saw with Murray, the... Bombers are pretty good at flying in places where you don't want them to and hitting you. And they do count as physical objects, so if they hit you, it's going to hurt a lot. But at the same time, you know, bombers being bombers and all, they will, you know, occasionally drop payloads onto the castle grounds. And it can hit both guards and knock them out, even flashlight guards in one hit. And at the same time, it also can hit you. But if it doesn't take out a guard, then you want to be careful because they will come running to the sound of the explosion of the bomb going off. Alright, uh, let's open up the door right here and head on in. Uh, speaking of guards... Hmm, easy does it, he says, as there's a shiny in there tempting me. I'm gonna try and go for it, but I make no promises. I'm gonna wait for these guys to turn their backs. Grab his bronze medal. Lame. And somehow get a fight going on in here. Alright, fine. Wanna play? Wanna play? We can play. I guess he really felt me lifting that medal off him. Get out of here. There we go. Yeah, what you were originally supposed to do is wait for the guards that are patrolling the turner backs, jump onto the sword, which is like the only time you ever get to do less, like a spire jump onto there. Jump up here, and then just jump on over here. And with the, I think the guard placement in this room is completely randomized, so usually there's a guard that's like sleeping over here or just laying down and watching the voice modulator. And at the same time, there's also another guard like back there that will uh, be in like a location where no one sees you. Or one that likes to look at where you're first coming in. So it can be completely randomized at times. What isn't randomized, however, is the vault. Security around the Contessa's castle is tight. 
she must have something really good in here. Punch in 969. Ah, uh, the good old Rage Bomb move. So, as much as I'm not a fan of the Insanity Strike, I am a bit of a fan of the Rage Bomb. For one thing, and one thing only, but it's not until the next episode. And for anyone who's played th this game and knows what I'm talking about, then you're in for a treat yourself. But, the Rage Bomb is basically like a bigger version of the Insanity Strike, where, as when you hit an enemy with the Insanity Strike, they will, you know, go after their friends and attack them until they're defeated. The Rage Bomb has a radius, a la Bentley's Bomb, since I think it's the only time Sly actually ever throws bombs in this game. This would honestly feel like more of a Bentley gadget than a Sly gadget. But it will basically act like a bigger version of the Insanity Strike, which can affect multiple guards instead of just one guard. And who knows, maybe we'll get a chance to play with it in these crypts. Also, I was wrong, that was the wiretap. I always thought it was the voice modulator first, but I guess because the voice modulator has like the little sound wave wiggle thing that goes on its screen, it makes much sense that the other one's a voice modulator. Another set of guards are up in your binocucom. Rob them of their keys to get at the voice modulator. Alright, we're just gonna sneak by this back guard. Yes, it looks like he's asleep, but at the same time, those can be deceiving. Uh, take care of him. Wait for a good opportunity to get this guy's key. I need to see actually how far. I think he patrols up to the little lights right here, and then that's like the stopping point. Yep, a little further, but still, that's like a good indicator for it. Back off a bit, because yep, he's gonna turn right around. Oop! All right, this one should do it. Or, nope, this one should do it. There we go. And now we can take him out without uh, any repercussions. Now his buddy, on the other hand, they got smart this time, and they decided to go to opposite sides of the castle. So instead, we're gonna just make our way up to the top of the castle, that way we can get a bird's eye view of everything going on below us and see if we can find a place that we can drop down and steal a second guard's key. Here. Thankfully, there's no guard to sleep. And let's see, where are you patrolling? Ah, yes, that very small ledge right there. How he got up there, I will never know because, you know, even though he's a vulture guard and, you know, a bird, they're not good when it comes to heights. Oh, jeez. And neither am I. But at least he knocked me onto the little platform down here. So thank you. Alright, I'm just gonna wait right here for him to turn his back because yep, he's turning right around. Sir, I see you have a shiny in your pocket, and I must relieve you of it. I'm not gonna get a good price for this. Nice job. Like, oh. Well, this seems un unfortunate, but I guess since we're on the gr ground floor, we don't have to run that far. Well, I mean, we have to run all the way to the front of the estate, but still. And also dodge flash like, you know what? Let me try this. Ooh, tank! All according to plan. Yeah, if you didn't know, you can actually use the Rage Bomb as a way to set off uh, explosive barrels as well, because it does technically count as, like, a environmental destroying gadget. So, yeah, you can be, like, uh, really resourceful and lay, like, a nice little trap if a guard's starting to give you some trouble. They've posted a lot of security around the voice modulator. This could be tricky. You say tricky when, you know, these guards are very simple-minded, but he does have a shiny in his pocket, and as you know, I'm a kleptomaniac. So we're gonna smash that little brazier right there, run right back up to the entrance, not too far, so that way we don't accidentally go through it. 
Get this guy's attention with that. Sneak up behind him and grab all his goodies. And then take him out just like the rest. Alright. Well, right over there is the voice modulator itself. And I see a flashlight guard that does not have anything good in his back pocket. So instead, I'm going to just leave him be. I'm going to smash that brazier. Crawl underneath this weapons rack. Thankfully, even though there's a lot of exposed areas on those weapons racks, uh, he, he's very nearsighted and he can't see me with it. Alright, yeah, he doesn't have anything, but I do have this lovely voice modulator. Just a second, Bentley. I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place right now. Alright, I'll just leave him all his money. Well, I mean, that's one way of taking care of him. I don't know how I threw a rage bomb out, but okay, whatever. just locks down a sewer entrance like what if there was a flood you know it's been raining non-stop in this city for the past like what three videos now all right well whatever let's just make our way over to the back of the castle because that is where the last of the guards are i'm gonna grab this guy's goodies real quick and let's see what he's got on him please tell me it's not a bronze medal why don't you ever have anything good on you I don't even want to know what happened back there. But anyways, right down here is the last of the guards. So we're just going to drop down right here. This is actually kind of dangerous. Well, all of it's dangerous, but still. <clears throat> Although I don't know what's going on with the guard over there. Usually they're supposed to be doing like a, a circle clockwise and counterclockwise patrol right here. But for whatever reason, this guy's just deciding he wants to chill under this tree. I mean, it makes my job a bit easier, but still. Basically, just hide underneath the guillotine whenever they decide to cross lights and then sneak back out when they have cleared the path. Grab the last of the keys. And make our way out of here like a ghost. Now head for the runoff drains near the riverside. They should lead to the sewer. <clears throat> really? Again? Ugh. I'm just gonna ignore these guys, run this way. Jump this way, this way, fly on down here, and head into the sewers. Already ahead of you, Bentley. Don't worry. Keep your shell on. Alright, into the sewers we go. So, uh, be careful about the giant octopus in the sewers of Prague, because it is everywhere. It'll attack you, and even though it's super weak to attacks, and it can only go down in one hit like the snakes or any of the like miscellaneous uh, threats in this game, definitely keep an eye out, because if they knock you off into the water, then you're not going to have a fun time. Right, just going to let you guys take care of that. Looks like we got lucky. The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Splice in the wiretap, then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. This is going to be so cool. Oh, 
All, all I can think of is the, the fact that Neela slash Carmelita's voice actress having to do an impression of someone doing an impression of their impression. If you think about it like that, then it's actually pretty hilarious. All right. Do you have anything shiny on you? I cannot see because of this angle. No, you do not. All right. Well, seeing as how he doesn't have anything good on him, I'm going to meet you back up at the castle where we were getting the... Oh, God. Get into the water. Not me. All right, good enough. I'll meet you back up where we got that first treasure over in the Contessa's castle because before we head back to the safe house, I want to get the second one with Sly because only Sly can get it. So I will see you all in just a bit. All right, we are back where we left off because I decided to come up here, seeing as how there's a little bit of company down there. Now, the location of the Sly only treasure in this level is kind of out of the way, but it's also kind of an ingenious thing. The only reason you can, get, the only way for you to get it is to get the paraglider because right there on that little lip, even though you can't see it due to draw distance, there is a vase waiting for me. So we're going to go over there and snag it. You want to be really careful going over here, by the way, because the bombers will actually knock you out of the sky if you're very unlucky, especially that one right there because it flies by it like the literal last second. Anyways, grab the vase and let's make our way back to the safe house. Not get shot by the security lights again, or the tanks, but the tanks are pretty easy to avoid, so I don't have to worry about them. Slow shots, and also takes the time to get a shot ready. Yeah, these things are kind of a joke. Anyways, safe house. And last but not least, we have to head back out into the field as Bentley. Unfortunately for me, the mission with Bentley requires me to do a lot more hacking, and if you remember from Jailbreak, you know my thoughts on the hacking minigame in this game. Alright, and we have finally made it to the back of the castle. Once again as Bentley, we're going to hopefully not get caught by a flashlight guard, and get some hacking done. According to General Clawfoot, uh, mobile energy source is stored at the end of this hallway. Hallway is a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yes. Well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirling, razor-sharp spikes might scare me, in fact terrorize my every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer at the re-education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get in the clockwork eyes or free Carmelina. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? Because it's like he always has to be very blunt about dangerous going into a mission. Alright, so this mission is the mission I was thinking about earlier, where it has probably my favorite jumping puzzle in the entire game, just because it's so fluid and so fun to do. One of my favorite things is that to do is to play the floor is lava and basically just keep hopping all over the place like you got this right here where it's like two big ones instead of a lot of small ones so we're just gonna do is hop over here hop hop and get impaled by some spikes I didn't say I was a jumping master the worst part about this is of course the swinging axe traps again and you know my feelings towards those things because of how inconsistent they are with their swings at times and finally if we can get a better camera angle we got this one, which is just like two big uh, rollers slamming into each other. And as I said, I'm pretty good when it comes to jumping. I'm doing horrible here. And then we got a bunch of like two big, or one big one with a couple of small rotating ones that are attached to them. So just pretty easy to avoid. And finally, we got more octopi. Head on over here and grab ourselves a battery. Aha! Uh -huh. This acid battery should do the trick. Just walk close to the electrode and voila! Prepare to be hacked, you knave. All right. 
got to break down this firewall. This challenge, we've got a bunch of slow moving uh, little defense nodes coming after us. So we're just going to want to just stick right here. Although this might be a really bad spot because if one decides to pop out right here, I am done for. Because uh, I'm going to get comboed into oblivion. Although, it doesn't look like any of them are... I had to open my big mouth. I had to open my big mouth. This is what happens when I talk. It's just I say something, the exact opposite happens. It happens during streams, and it happens in basically any other situation in my life. Let's do this, just avoid these, and I am doing a horrible job avoiding them. Sneak our way over here, and we are going to just break open that guy. And open up the first gate. I'll get you, Contessa. Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. I mean it. I'll get you. Yes, yes, so I've heard. I will say, even though I'm not a big fan of the hacking in this mission, the yeah, interaction between Carmelina and the Contessa Julia. is pretty good. I had better not take any damage while carrying this battery to the other terminal. It is, after all, filled with acid. So, okay. once again... Ready for another session of hacking mastery. So, like other things that require me to have something on my back, we can't take a hit while we are going through with the thing. So we're just going to keep hopping our way over here. Hopefully not get hit by a tentacle and drown in the water. Great. Okay, ready for another session of hacking mastery. This time we're not going to overshoot the jump, and we're just going to make a way back up the little pathway right here. I, Nope, not there. It's the next jumping challenge. This is going to be a long mission. I can feel it. Okay, now that we're done with that mess, let's head on over here. The camera would be very kind to me. I don't know what is going on with the camera in this little area, because every time I try to go up one of those staircases, it's just like, hey, what's this back here? Alright, now for the second one, we got a couple of fast ones, along with the slow encroaching ones, so we gotta be very careful. I think in the third one, we even either have a bunch of shooters that are in here that we have to take care of, or just even more fast ones. Or maybe it's nothing but fast ones. Either way, this is going to take a while to get through. I'm just going to do my best to avoid the masses. Take out as many as we can. It's actually kind of good to corral the slow ones into like a corner or something to give yourself more time. Take any of the ones that might be giving you trouble or not letting you get back up to the firewall, but either way, they're going to take their sweet time coming over here, so it gives you a chance to take care of those nodes. Of course, these fast ones are not making my life any easier. Come on, come on, come on. One more. There we go. Make our way through here. Take away, uh, get rid of this other shooter. And open up the second gate. Maybe I should approach this through your id, instead of your conscious mind. It might help to get around your super ego. Trust me, that's an impenetrable barrier that you will never get through, Contessa. One more computer and I can get out of here. No, oh, good. The swinging axes, my favorite. All right, we gotta wait for a good timing. Of course, these things are not syncing up really well. Okay, now they're kind of syncing up. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Sneak past this one. Wow, that was nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. Hop on over this and get to the next staircase. I kind of like—I do kind of like this mission, even though I'm again—I'm not the biggest hacking fan in this game. I do like that you have to go to the end and then start working your way back towards your goal. It's actually a nice little change of pace instead of just you know going one way and then hoping for the best. 
But here's our final terminal, so let's get hacking and get Carmelita ready to be freed. Oh no, now it's just really fast ones. I thought they would put like a couple shooters in here, or maybe just take away all the slow ones here and just put fast ones in here, or I guess in this case, medium speed ones. These are the fast ones. I guess the strategy for this one, I can say, is move in a circle just to keep a distance from those fast ones and then uh, corral the slow ones all together, as usual. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Get past the two security gates that we just opened up. And here's what I guess would be considered a pseudo boss for the hacking minigame. Or this like little battle platform they have to take care of. It's a bit of a piece of cake. You don't even have to take out the, all the turrets on it. You can just shoot the main body and be done with it. Inspector Fox, why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight legged cow. No. That old computer powered up. My work here is done. Hey, Carmelita. Contessa only has six legs. The other two are her arms. I think maybe her mind's already been halfway scrambled by that mind shuffler. It's time to wage war on the castle and in the confusion, pull off a heist I've named Operation High Road. First, Murray will take down the spotlights on the main gate with the codes provided by General Clawfoot. Then, with the help of the voice modulator, I'll order Neela's forces to attack. Sly will then paraglide the two of us over to the Contessa's getaway blimp, and we'll use it to get inside her re-education tower. The assault on the castle will undoubtedly draw the Shadow Guards off their post, and if we free Inspector Fox, she's sure to clear out the Contessa. With the Mind Shuffler exposed, I'll plant the Bad Mojo Bomb, and presto, the Clockwork Eyes are ours. So if the two of you are ready, let's take our positions and get this thing started. <laughs> <laughs> 